What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Tokyo Ghoul Called to Exist. So, in the last part, we did the search for Ken Kaneki, and we got the side story to do now, which you will play as Toka. So most likely, this will be the last episode. I, uh, I should be able to do both parts, this and then that last part. So with Toka, you gotta go around and you gotta break open those parts right there to uh, see if Kaneki is inside. Now I don't know if these change each time or if it, or if he appears in the same one. I think I remember the last, I think I remember the place where it appeared before for me. I'm not too sure though. Okay, so I think, okay, they're right there. They're taking a lot more damage for some reason. I don't, it seems like they're taking, yeah, it seems like they're taking a lot more. But yeah, sometimes uh, during certain parts like that or any other mission, you need to uh, you need to fully kill. Like if you, if you can finish the enemy off, mo finish it because uh, you probably won't be able to progress until it's finished or it you know despawns. It's just faster to finish it off instead of just waiting. Okay, so go this way. I think he always appears at one specific spot though. I could be wrong. Okay, you can you can pretty much just skip everything. I'm pretty sure, as long as you find him. I think he, yeah, I think Kaneki is right there, where those dudes are. He's right there. I think. Okay, so where where do I need to go? Oh, this way. Yeah, right up here. I think I think he's up here. No, before he was right there, I believe. Not down there. Okay, here he is. Cause before he was uh he was up there at the top where those guys are where we just rescued. So I don't know if he maybe can just appear up in this area or what. 
But that that's it for the mission easy. All right, so last part. Last part up in this. Um um probably the next uh game I'll make videos on is probably Attack on Titan. I'll probably make videos on that, and if I if I can find a way to make videos on my uh, PS3, I will probably make some videos on uh, on Bleach. But I don't I don't think I can. I think I need some kind of recording device. If I can find one that I can get, then uh, I'll make videos on that. But next thing will probably be um, Attack on Titan. I don't know if I'll do the territory mode up in that or not. I've, I did a little bit of it before. I kind of wish, like, through Kaneki's forms, like, I, I wish with his, uh, because his, his attacks change whenever he's, uh, I think right after his Black Reaper version, they start to change. Because, you know, before he would, like, if you tap triangle, he would do the jabs, but now he doesn't. I wish, I wish they kept it like that, because I like that version better. And like whenever you're playing multiplayer and you select your teammates, you can only choose one version of Kaneki. You can't you can only choose his version uh the version of him whenever he joins Al Giddy. Which kinda sucks because you know you can't you can't have him in his goat form or his black reaper form or anything like that. It would have been cool too if uh for your own ghoul character with the uh, Kaganes, it would have been cool if you could get uh, that version of Ayato's uh, Kagane, the one that he's got right now in RE. All right, so the switch is this one back here. Now, like I said before, I don't know if the dragon orphans count as ghouls. I don't think they do. But if they do, then uh, this mission can be easy for getting the uh, achievements for killing a certain amount of ghouls. I don't think they count, though. Also, there's basically a time limit on this uh, gate. And in multiplayer, right here, Noro would be right here. Takes me a while to beat him over in this spot. Come on now. Um, I don't, I don't think a boss can appear right here. If, if they're, oh wait, no, one, uh, the, uh, Rose girl can, she can, uh, appear here. I, don't, I think she comes here every time, so. Also, this is a place for, uh, if you need to finish your accomplishment for getting the, uh, for, um, getting the centipede version of Kaneki, you can do it here. He can appear here. Oh, 
usually right here uh this gate there's a gate that'll be right here closed and once you drop down a bunch of dragon orphans will appear right there and then up in this area there'll be three of those uh big guys that you fight not the dragon orphans just regular uh dudes I really like this version of Kaneki's, uh, you know, special attack and, uh, his awakening. I'd say, I'd say it's probably the best out of his versions, maybe. But, uh, really any version is good. There is no, there is no bad, you know. But, um, the, uh, the centipede version of Kanki, he appears back there up in that room. Honestly, I'd say the centipede version of Kanki takes longer to beat than Adima to me. I don't know how that hit me, but okay. So over in this area, you can end up fighting, um, let me see. Um, I believe Nutcracker can appear over here and, um, Jason. I think they can both appear at the same time. There we go. All right, this is the last part. This is where you fight Furuta. You'll fight him in two forms, his regular form, and then I don't know what you would call it. I guess Kakuja. Either Kakuja form or I guess dragon form. I'm not I'm not too sure. Watch out for his, uh, whenever he does his special, uh, attack, watch out for it, because it can cover a big area. Sometimes they do those little dances for no reason. It's weird, but you know you can just attack him during those.
Yeah, this attack. I don't know. I guess it's because sometimes when I'm fighting, but look, I'm closer. But uh, sometimes it looks bigger than usual. Let's see if there's a med kit. Okay, no, there's not. All right. Also, try to watch out for the smoke that comes out over these places. I don't know why. The first time I followed him, it, it felt like it went faster than this. Okay, there we go. I'll most likely die. Alright, so this form is pretty cool. Uh... If he ever becomes a playable character, I would like to see how they would do this, uh, form. Okay, so yeah, it is a Kakuja. Okay. do a lot of damage whenever you go in his awakening form. Okay, so sometimes you gotta wait till you can uh, do the last hit like this, like he has no health. There we go. Alright, so that was the last mission. Um, the game could be better, honestly. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody can agree with that. Um, would love to see some of the characters, you know, as playable characters at some point, like the twins. Um, you know, Eto, Furuta, all of them, you know, add new Queen K's. Um, all that and um so that was it um i don't know if i'll make any videos on the substance with my characters but i'm um, just to show you this is my ghoul character right now my investigator i got the uh the nar the narukami which is uh what Adima uses and then I got the owl. I really don't use this. I just uh, put that on to test it. What I mainly probably will use is the Narakami. And probably this to block. Either that or I would just keep using the uh, 13's Jason. Um, and here's my Quinks. Uh, the Gikui. I don't really use this either. I usually use either... I was using the J 13's Jason before, but then I changed it to Gikui, so it'll either be maybe this to defend, or maybe win the knives, I'm not too sure. In the secondary, I was using this to try it. But I'd say for Quinks, I would probably use, um, maybe this for the health. 
Um, not too sure what kind of skills this gets or, you know, any of these other ones. I'll probably also use this one too. But, um, and hopefully they also add different cognates as well. You know, and at least make it to where you can change the color of your weapons and stuff. But yeah, I don't know if I will do videos on on this part of the game, you know, with your own character. There really is no point. But, um, so yeah, that was it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And probably the next game I'll get on is Attack on Titan. I'm not sure when, but I will probably get on that next. So I'll see you guys in the next series. Peace.